What's up, heathens? How ya doing? I'm the Godless Engineer, and I critically analyze apologists' claims to give you the best arguments and information so that you can stand up and use your voice. And if you guys don't remember, last Wednesday I responded to a guy that was talking a lot of crap about how Darwinism is integral to new atheism. There's just no logical, plausible, and probable conclusion you can reach that says binary code will magically transform into syntax, semantics, pragmatics, and all of the other if-then and else logic rules that are required for any type of programming. Well, he didn't like my response too much. What's up, everybody? John Maddox here. This is a quick pre-response video uh, reply to Godless Engineer, who the other day decided to attack uh, one of my videos on why evolution has become a central component to the new atheist movement and way to circumvent the need for God in order for life to exist. Whew, attack? Hey, you got that persecution complex turned up to 11 there, don't you, bud? In any case, no. We don't need a God to explain why life is here. It's just ridiculous to assume that you need a God in order for life to be here. You're totally cutting out all of the other explanations that include natural explanations, which would be way more probable than your God explanation. So if you're interested in hearing what he's got to say in the inevitable doom of Godless Engineer, please stay tuned. Now, he specifically attacked my core position, which was that the genetic code is a code base and it's a programming language that enables life to exist and is not purely chemical reactions. Well, it is chemical reactions. DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid, and it interacts with RNA in order to produce amino acids. That's all it does. This is the same effect as pouring one chemical into another chemical and then getting different chemical compounds as a result due to the physics of chemistry. That's all it is, and it's not a code. DNA has byproducts, which are amino acids, and is no different than any other chemical reaction that happens in reality. So unless other chemical reactions can also be described as code, then DNA is not a code as these creationists would love to paint it as. Ironically, he responded back and said, yes, it was just chemical reactions and uh, basically that I didn't know what I was talking about. You don't, obviously. So... Given the fact, Godless Engineer, that uh, you conceded some of my later points and comparisons, that uh, it was not a reasonable conclusion that uh, a code base of any kind would be able to come into existence without a intelligent agent existing prior to its execution, uh, before I uh, spend the time to really dive into uh, why you're stunningly ignorant and uneducated in regards to this whole topic, I would like to grant you the opportunity to retract your positions, or I will be forced to embarrass you in regards to your stunning lack of knowledge and how you apparently are part of the brainwashed uh, demographic that is seems unable to actually read basic literature and comprehend what is actually being put forth and how something directly entails and is not purely analogous to a computer language. I'm not even going to comment on the insane amount of condescension in this video. Uh, I mean, I'm guilty of being condescending at times too. So, I mean, I guess I can forgive that, but I just have to laugh at this one part. I would like to grant you the opportunity to retract your positions or I will be forced to embarrass you. So I have to laugh at that part at the idea that he's granting me the opportunity to retract my statements or be destroyed. This is really overdramatic. First, you start off the entire video by saying I was attacking you by just responding to your video and the misinformation that you relayed in it. That one, dramatic, dramatic thing one, dramatic thing two, or be destroyed. <laughs> 
So, no, I don't retract my statements. I stand firm behind the idea that as far as the context that you're putting DNA in right now, DNA is not a code. It's not a code like computer code. It's not a code like anything that you're trying to say. It's purely a chemical reaction that happens, and the byproducts of that chemical reaction are amino acids. So I'm not afraid of you responding and, like, embarrassing me on my... Uh, ignorance or or my lack of knowledge that you say i mean you're trying to puff up really big there bud i've been around i've been in this game for a while now your your fucking nintendo hat doesn't scare me okay buddy so go ahead make your fucking video i would love to hear what you have to say about dna being a code i would like to say to everybody else that while we can interpret dna as a code and we can use that code to predict what will happen because of the configuration of that dna does not necessarily mean that it is actually code here's a big difference between computer code and dna as a code for one thing computer code is specifically written in order to accomplish certain tasks or certain things to happen in a computer system. Therefore, we have to write it in a way that we can understand it and then translate it so that the computer can understand it and run those very basic operations. Now, how that differs from DNA is that DNA is a chemical compound, deoxyribonucleic acid. When it interacts with RNA, it produces amino acids, and then those amino acids are just produced. Like, that's all that it does. This is no different than any other chemical reaction that happens in reality. So, unless other chemical reactions are also called code, then I don't see why you think that DNA is a code other than we can interpret it as a code. So, again, love to hear your response. Can't wait for it. It might already be out by the time that this video is out. I don't know. I've got a lot of shit going on, too. So, anyways, I'll see you heathens later. Don't forget to stand up, use your voice, and all that kind of good shit. Bye, heathens.